Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. So, uh, when last we played, uh, we dispelled the magic upon the prisoner that the Sambani captured and found her to be um, a human woman um, named Jahari. Uh, we paid bride price for her, but of course that doesn't mean we're actually married because she has to consent, which she was very much not inclined to do and she ran away at first opportunity. Um, but we'd put in some work to befriend her and um, I don't like that phrasing actually. We had we had made an attempt at befriending her, let me simply say. Um, and so when we walked into the jungle um, we got to talk with her a bit and through talking with her, with her, her getting to know us, us getting to know her a bit, um, she's come to trust us a bit more and to see that a war between her people and the Sambani is probably not going to go well for either side in the air, in the end. So she has brought us to her village um, and warned us that uh, only two things are likely to get uh, the, uh, the attention of her people. Either the return of their drum, which we don't have, we're not playing as a thief, so uh, nor as a warrior, so we're not in a position to get our hands on that. And, uh, sorry, or a show of great magic. We are a wizard, so that is going to be our path. Now, with this, we are about, I think, to enter into the end game. I don't know whether we'll finish tonight, um, but we'll see. Uh, we may very well. So, join me to see what is to be seen. Will there be peace between the Leopard Folk and Sambani? Will, will we be journeying to that strange ruined city that we've heard tell of beyond the waterfall to the east? The one with the strange lights. And what will we find there? Will we find the demons that uh, Kresha has been warning us of? Well, hopefully we will find out as we return to the game. <clears throat> so, Johari, why have you brought this outsider to our village? This man has much magic. He is a mighty wizard and he wants to prove himself worthy to be here. Okay, Hero, say something about magic. Uh, okay. Um, we could try talking about peace, but I don't think they're going to hear that. We could tell, we'll talk about ship here. We did encounter some magic there, but I, they've just bluntly given us the option to tell about magic, so... You tell about your skills as a wizard. Ooh, nice effect. I am the shaman. Who is this outsider that he dares claim he has magic? He is a very powerful wizard from, a, from far away. You will see his power. This powerless fool thinks he has magic to match my own? Ha! Outsider, I challenge you to a duel of magic. You will lose to my skills in spell casting. Outsider, do you accept this challenge? Hmm. Uh, sh shall we decline? No, let's let's accept. You accept the challenge. There will be a duel between the outsider and the shaman in the arena immediately. Uh, there will also be me saving presently. You must follow the rules of the duel with the shaman. First, you cannot attack or, or harm the shaman directly with your spells. Next, you cannot use the same spell more than once. Finally, you and the shaman take turns casting spells and countering the other's spells. Good luck. You will really need it. You, should n you do not have a chance, outsider. I am the shaman, most powerful of all. Outsider, you shall begin the contest. Now I will begin the contest by saving. Now, if you saw my playthrough of Quest for Glory 2, you'll know that we've been through something a little similar when we entered the Wizards Institute of Technosery, or WIT. Uh, we there had a series of trials which we had to meet with magic, and that's basically what we have here, except that we're starting. Um, well, we can't attack directly. We could try juggling lights. We could try peace, but I don't think that's going to help. We could try flash, but that seems a little unsporting. 
Um, we could try summoning our staff to empower our spells, but I don't think that's really necessary. I'm going to try juggling lights. Now he summons his staff. The shaman has clearly outspelled the outsider. Okay. Well, I'll summon my staff then. Uh, hold on. No, you know what? I'm going to restore it. I'm going to see if I can do better. Since I suspect that we'll, I'll be getting points here. Okay, so let's... Summon our staff. The outsider's magical staff is more powerful than the shaman's staff. The outsider wins this round. I don't know how he determined that, but fair enough. Um, oops. Oh, casting's a pain when the flames on the grain. Uh, okay, no, no. Whoops, no, I don't want to save. I don't want to save. Uh, hold on. Cancel that. I see what I should have done now, I do believe. Uh, let's try that again. So we start, of course, by summoning our staff. Okay, then we'll want a reversal to counter that fireball. The stranger has returned the shaman's spell. Now the shaman must counter his own spell. The stranger has won this round. Okay, uh, ooh. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Um, I know what to do here, I think. Calm, dude, calm. The Outsider has successfully countered the Shaman's Wall of Flame spell. The Outsider is ahead. No, I I'm, I'm actually have all my limbs. Ooh, nice. Um, okay, so I'm surrounded by woods and such like. I could try open. Um... <laughs> I could try Flame Bolt or Force Bolt. I'm going to try Open here. Ah! I took too long, apparently. You should try the contest again. I think you can beat the old Shaman. All you need to do is correctly counter his spells and you'll make him so mad the Shaman will make a mistake and you can win. No problem. Okay, well, I'm going to restore and do that. I probably could walk in and do it properly, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just restore. Uh, excuse me? I didn't have a chance to cast my spell that time. Timing's feeling a little funny in places, but that's okay. Okay, so next thing we want reversal. Boing. Okay, then he casts a wall of flame spell, which we calm, dude, calm. Okay, he does that. I'm going to try open. No, okay. Oh wait, it did work. The outsider has successfully countered the shaman's cage spell. The shaman may try again. Everything's dark. You find yourself surrounded by darkness. Um, flash of light? No. Juggling lights then. Ooh, and we've changed positions, I see. Nice. Ah, the outside has a spell to break the darkness of the shaman. He does very well. Now it is the shaman's turn again. Ah, uh, what is that? Oh, I'm trying to look at it. Uh, it appears to be a snake. Uh, snake, snake, snake. Um, what would beat a snake? Uh... Ah, it's an illusion. Okay. Okay, I think we can do this. It's an interesting set of puzzles. I wasn't quite sure what to... Oh, kittens, I forgot this. Very little time at the save. You just summon my staff immediately. Okay, then we want reversal. It's, in a sense, a bit of... Well... It's in a sense a bit of a pity that um, it's the same series of, of spells each time. Uh, but on the other hand, the way that this is set up, um, it wouldn't really be feasible to to do otherwise, I think, fear. But anyway. Juggling lights. Try putting down a save here. Oops, there we go. 
uh, I don't know that I'll have enough time in that save, but we'll see if called for. Okay. Okay, so now this illusion, they said. Detect magic? No, apparently not. Once your head stops ringing, you think to yourself, Self, there's probably something here that isn't magical. But if there is, you're not having any luck finding it among the auras of all the things that are magical. Okay, in all fairness, it is a very magical place in which we find ourselves, so that is very fair. Okay, so there's the, okay, here's whatever this thing is. Uh, I could try triggering it. No, not trigger. Hmm. We don't really have an obvious anti uh, anti illusion spell. Uh, I could fetch. I could levitate. Reverse lights. Um. Try a flash of light. Oh, okay. The outsider dispelled the shaman's illusion. The shaman must go again. Wait, why does he keep getting so many turns? Whoops. The outsider has failed to escape the trap set by the shaman. The shaman is the winner of this duel. Wait, hold on. I didn't even get a chance there. I, I, I didn't get a chance to cast. Huh. All right, so I see the I see the logic with the the illusion. You create a, a flash of light that um, dispels the the false image. What? Hmm, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do there. That's weird. So I didn't get access to the menu bar. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to try levitation here and now. No. Okay. That's really weird. I'm a little confused now. Flash of light. Summon my yeah. Okay, I'm gonna summon my staff now. No. Okay, I have to do a flash of light. I'm just looking for a moment in which I can do anything here. No. Okay, I'm definitely confused. No, I'm, I'm going to just go and look at a. I'm gonna look at hints quickly. Um. That doesn't seem right to me. Maybe I'm missing something, but if so, I don't know what it is. Whoops, I'm just typing quest glory 3 in the UHS hint system. Well, in UHS, that is, the universal hint system. Ah, and they don't have, um, don't have hints, they just have a... Uh, well, they, have, they don't have hints that are viewable online. You have to download, which is not much good. Um, quest... Glory three walk through. Let's see if I can find what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, all right, here's one on game FAQs. Oh, I wonder whether there's something on the Sierra help pages. That would be neat. Um, the Sierra help pages are a really useful website for playing old Sierra games. Um, Let's see. General help, uh, Windows XP help, Windows 2000 help, audio problems, specific game help, game utilities, game patches. Yeah, it's mostly... Oh, game hints, tips and spoilers. There we go. Um, Quest for Glory 3 tips, it says. Uh... <laughs> That's a neat trick. Uh, but anyway, um, hmm. no, these 
These aren't really walkthroughs. Um, let's see, Sierra, you are, it's interesting. Oh, Sierra game walkthroughs, that looks like what I want. Uh, Quest for Glory 3 walkthrough, that's the one. Um, I wonder, let me just look at this page quickly. Okay, yeah, they have a zip file for the UHS system, but anyway, uh, Leopard Man Village. Uh, juggling lights. Well, that's odd. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so they, they recommend a different spell um, a step earlier in dealing with uh, the illusion. So I'm going to try that, see if it does anything different. Okay, so instead of a flash of light, they suggest lightning ball. The outsider has just broken the rule of the duel. You must not cast the same spell more than once. The shaman is the winner of the duel. Oh, I, I tried to cast the lightning ball a second time, forgetting that, of course, they had said you can't cast twice. Okay, so let's try that again. Or at least I'm smiling. Okay, so uh, lightning ball. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I've, hmm, not sure how that's supposed to work. The flash of light clearly does function. Um, hmm. Excuse me if you heard me drink, but uh, do stay hydrated. Hmm, that didn't work. Hmm. Try casting directly at the shaman, perhaps? Maybe that walkthrough is wrong, of course. It's The rules state you are not allowed to attack the shaman directly. Now you know why. Next time, don't break the rules lest ye be broken. Okay, so don't cast it directly at the shaman himself, which is fair. Uh... Now that doesn't seem to do anything helpful. Okay, um, in that case, I'm going to try another walkthrough. Um... So... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's look for shaman. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so they say summon, yeah, you know, summon staff, cast reversal. Um, yeah, uh, what cast calm. Um, cast open, which is what I did. They're, the other guide suggested force bolt here rather than open. So that's the difference already. Juggling lights. Okay, dazzle. Yep. Yeah, and this is what I was expecting. They say, then you'll create a hole beneath you. Cast levita levitate to rise out of it. Which is what I was trying to do, but it's the game's not letting me. So, I think I have a timing bug, more likely than not. Um, I'm going to look this up. Glory 3, um, um, let me try the Sierra help pages again, because I think they do have some stuff about bugs. Um, specific game help. Uh, Quest for Glory 3. Let's see. So they have a section for speed problems, but they only mention the Libon's Hut, the Thief Conversation, and the Sambani Initiation, none of which is where we are. Hmm.
Hmm, not seeing anything useful here. Ah, okay, so that's not it. Um, <laughs> mm, just looking through a list of known bugs here. This is a Missly Scum VM, and I'm working through DOSBox, which is not the same, but you never know. Um, Uh, let's see, search bugs, shaman. Um, no, this is something else entirely. This is EcoQuest, apparently. Hmm, I don't know. Well, this is a bit of a problem. Um... So I know what I'm supposed to do. The game's just not letting me do it. Let me wait a moment longer. Okay, so the thing's at us. Let's dazzle it now. See, it's not letting me. It's not letting me get to my spells. What? That is really weird. Um, I'm going to go all the way back. I'm going to try doing this without a save. Maybe the save is breaking it. So we're just going to we're going to click through the dialogue. Oops. Uh, tell about magic. Is still a neat effect. Um, we will accept. Okay. Da da da. Uh, okay, so I get to begin. I cast my my staff spell. Then I cast my reversal spell. Okay, he does that. I cast my calm spell. He does that. I cast my open spell. Go. He does that. I cast my juggling light spell. He does that. I cast my flash spell. Flash Shaha. He does that. I get no opportunity to do anything. What is going on here? All right, well, let's... Ask about the contest. The Shaman is very tricky. You will need to think carefully what spells to use against him each time so you don't use the same spell twice. Uh, the Shaman? I didn't know the Shaman would challenge you. He usually doesn't bother fighting duels since he wins all the time. He is the greatest magic user of our village. Uh, magic? My people use magic all the time. They do not respect those who do not use magic. All right, well, let's try this again. Maybe it'll work better if we... I don't know, if we haven't reloaded or something. Okay, so we're back in. Okay. Star. And reverse. And calm. And open. That takes just enough time to have effect that I have on a couple of occasions here thought that I'd misclicked or 
in some other way it wasn't working anyway. Juggling lights, now we're coming up to the moment of truth. Flash of light. There, we have the opportunity this time. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but here we go, we're out. We cast Levitate. The stranger successfully countered the spell of the shaman. The shaman must try again. You think you can defeat me with your stupid little spells, outsider? Fool! I am the master. Oh, excuse me, that voice. I shall destroy you. S uh, excuse me a moment, please. Um, demon. Sorry. <coughs> I call upon the summon the. I, I become the etc. Sorry that. The shaman has become a demon. Kill it. Uh, well, instead of killing it, we're going to dispel it. Sorry, that voice I'm using for the shaman is doing my throat in. You freed me from the demon I rashly summoned. I owe you my life. You have won both our, both the contest and the respect of our people. You have won the contest by outspelling the shaman and our gratitude by destroying the demon. Now why have you come to our village? Oh, sorry for the coughing. Um, yeah, that, that irritated my throat a little bit. Um, let's tell about peace. You start to tell the leopard men about peace and how you need the spear of death to convince the Simbani. Hey, there it is. Nice, thank you. We seem to have done it. You journey back to the Sambani village. I'm going to have some of my hot chocolate to um, soothe my throat a little bit. Excuse me if you hear me drinking. Uh, a stranger once came to the Sambani. The stranger spoke of peace. There can be no peace, said the Sambani. The stranger came back to the Sambani village. He spoke of peace again. There can be no peace while there is an enemy, said the Sambani. The stranger went to the enemy. The stranger then came back to the Sambani. Come forward, stranger. Show us the symbol of your peace. I don't know whether you can hear it, but I think it's raining outside. Behold, the Sambani Spear of Death. Can't quite see whether it's raining. Behold, the stranger has brought the Sambani, the promise of peace. Now the Simbani can speak again in Tana. Now the Simbani can speak again the words of peace. Here is the sign of the Simbani peace. Return to the enemy with the <clears throat> return to the enemy the drum of magic. Show them that the Simbani will speak with them of peace. Prince of Shapir, only the return of the drum of magic stands in the way of peace between our friends the Simbani and the leopard men. As I travel to Tana to prepare for the peace conference, you must travel to the Leopardman's village to return the drum of magic. Cretia will sense when you have returned the drum of magic to the Leopardman, and will send the magic portal for your journey back to Tana. Peace be with you. You return to the Leopardman village with the drum of magic. Hero, it is time to present my father with the drum of magic. Now we're getting points for not actually doing anything. Nice. Behold, the drum of magic. Nice. Now that the drum of magic is returned, I can speak of peace with the cow people. Krisha senses the return of the drum of magic and sends the magic portal for your journey back to Tana. You travel to Tana where Rakish anxiously awaits the peace conference. <clears throat> Excuse me if you hear my chair squeaking. Ah, you've been watching the conference for some time as they introduce everyone. It has been rather boring. The Council of Judgment of the Land of Tana now calls forth the Libon of the Simbani to speak before us. I, Libon of the Simbani, am speaking before you as leader of my people. The Simbani and the Leopard Men have always been enemies. The Leopard Men steal our cattle by night. They use magic against our warriors. They are sneaky and not to be trusted. The leopard men stole from the Simbani the, the symbol of Simbani power, the spear of death. Something is not right here. I feel that something terrible is about to happen. 
Oh dear. Indeed. Oh, and he dies, and what is that? My friend, cannot you see the sign of the demon leaving the body of the Leopard Man leader? King Raja is furious at these actions. This is terrible. My friend, you must leave Tana immediately before Raja declares a state of war and the gates of Tana are shut. Seek out the demons in the lost city, and I will join you if I can. Go quickly. You quickly leave Tana before things get even worse. So, now we enter the end game. Oh, excuse me if you heard me uh, drinking. But after that uh, business with the uh, the shaman, oh, my throat's gotten a little sore. Um, so, off we go. We have to head out to the east to uh, see if we can do something about the demons. And apparently we still have what's it, uh, random encounters to deal with, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, oh hey, we uh, we have a new spell. Let's, uh, let's try out our lightning ball. Looks fancy. I don't know whether we'll have it available um, in the fight, but let's find out. Because the battle is about to begin. Ah, there it is. Oh, there we go. Not bad. It looks neat. Not not the best lightning ball effect I've ever seen, but, you know, it'll do the job. And I think we might get something a little better next game. But hey, we got to try out our lightning ball at least. Let's loot him. I, we're, there's no real point in looting him at this right now because we, uh, we, are, we don't really have much use for money in the end game. Um... Alright, so we're going to be doing our start-stop thing again, it would seem, um, in order to um, try to avoid random encounters. Start, so, start, stop, and save each point of the way. Seems to at least reduce random encounters and allows us to get around them when they do happen. It's a bit tedious, but so it goes, I'm afraid. You think that trap would have been more effective if they had covered it in a tarp? Anyway, see if we can get to... Oh! I was hoping to get to the end of the... Uh... I see them left, but uh, let's just restore around it. I was hoping to get to the, uh, the next screen. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Come on, almost there. Okay, we made it to the next screen. Good. Uh, really quite peaceful music is uh, a little at odds with the way things are going in the plot at the moment, but it's still pleasant. Random encounter? What is it? Just out of curiosity? Oh, it's a running death dinosaur. Oops, no, not save. I want to restore around this. We don't really need to spend time fighting, uh, fighting creatures right now, I think. Okay, it looks like uh, night is falling, so let's make camp. Yes, of course. I wonder whether we can light a fire with a lightning ball. It should work. Hmm. Uh, here's a thought. I want to summon my staff. I want to see whether it changes what the lightning ball looks like. 
Don't think so. Anyway, that's what I want to do. And sleep until morning. Ah. It must have been a bit later than usual when uh, when we set out. Put out our fire, of course, fire safety and all of that. And the game will penalise you if you... Well, we'll... Uh, I forget whether you get a non-standard game over or if it just... Um, just... Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, disparages you in any case. Um, if you don't put out your fire. Oh well. Save. We're making progress. Making progress. Save again. Now you might think, well, should we stop in at the Simbani village? Well, let's try that, shall we? Uh, I don't know where we're going to get there without an encounter, but... Yep, yeah, should make it now. Oh, not quite. Oh, and there's a running death dinosaur. Alright, well, let's... Let's just kill it. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to restore around it. I'm not going to uh, kill this dinosaur just for the sake of convenience this time, I think. I think make it. You're no longer welcome in the Sambani village. Hmm. So the Sambani village is close to us. Tane is close to us. Actually, I did miss a. I did miss a, um, a trick. Um, I could have shown you the gates of Tana. I think if I had uh, thought to do so before we left. Um, I wonder what our. Where was the save? Oh, yeah, might be able to do it from this save. Let's have a look. And yeah, there you go. The gates of Tana. A massive gate now bars your entrance into Tana. There is no way in the world you can move these barred gates. I wonder whether we can... You are told that you shouldn't use magic in Tana. Someone might see you here. Fair enough, I suppose, but yeah. The gates of Tana are shut to us. The Sambani village is shut to us. Also, this is a really lovely gate. I really like that. Um, anyway, so I wanted to just show that off quickly. And there it is. So, see if we can uh, make a straight shot to the next screen without getting hit by a... Nope, a random encounter. Uh, honestly, it is the one real niggle that I have with this game. Um, well, the one... yeah. No, let me, let me not say it, put it quite that way. It's the one real issue that I have with this game. Um, there are a number of niggles that I have with it. Little things that, you know, mean that it's not a perfect game. Um, I don't think I've ever played a perfect game. But um, the one real issue, whoops, not restore, um, is that I, I really don't like random encounters like that. And they, they do become a bit tiresome eventually, I find. Um, in the other Quest for Glory games, uh, you can get away from the encounters a little more easily, I think. Ah, uh, it's just an Mlep. Um, almost reached the next screen, but uh, anyway, let's try again. Um, yeah, anyway, it's the one real serious issue that I have with this game. There are a couple of the niggles, you know, the, there isn't a lot for thieves to do, there isn't a lot of uh, paladin specific questing. Ah, hello. Manfriend. Manu, very happy to see Manfriend. Manfriend like Monkey Village. Manfriend very happy in Monkey Village. Manfriend go Monkey Village with Manu? Uh, hello monkey. Manu see Manfriend. Manfriend no see Manu. Manu up tree. Manu here. Hello Manfriend. Um, 
you may or may not recall, Manu, we freed him from a trap um, in an earlier episode. And an interesting fact, you don't actually have to free him from the trap I once discovered. Um, it turns out, um, if I'm not much mistaken, uh, you can... Um, you can actually sequence break that bit. Um, and end up uh, coming here, having this encounter with Manu where he's quite happy to, uh, to see you despite your never having met him. Anyway, uh, village. Monkey Village, good place. Man friend, come see Monkey Village. Man, man friend, like good Monkey Village. Man friend, very happy in Monkey Village. Manu, very happy with Man friend. Uh, sure, let's go. You agree to go to the Monkey Village. Manu, very happy. Man friend, like Monkey Village very much. Manu and Man friend, go. And off we go. So at least we don't have too much trouble in the jungle section. Excuse me. Man friend like village. Good village. Just like man's village. Suddenly reminded of the jungle book in the bandalog. Hurry, hurry, man friend see. Good village. Dark. Manu go sleep now. Night night. Uh, looks like we lit a little campfire of our own. Uh, this, in the, this is the end game, so a lot of stuff's happening automatically. It is a little bit rushed, perhaps. It's one of the niggles that I might have with this game. The, the end game is a little bit rushed. Well, they, they rush you to the next major section. Good son. Manu happy. Time to go now. Go to Monkey Village. Man friend happy. So yeah, they've, they've really been sort of shunting us along. Monkey folk live here all the time. Big village. It's the heart of the world. One of my favourite parts in this game. Ah, the heart of the world is so beautiful. Anyway. There's the village, also lovely. There's some interesting ruins. You like. You see. You stay. Be happy, monkey. Well, ape, technically. Man to teach you. You be monkey man. You be hero of monkeys. Oh, I love this animation of this water here. This is really nicely done. See, their village. Big village. Very good, you know, think. Man who looks like a monkey, smells like a monkey, and mostly acts like a monkey. You see a huge tree trunk. You guess that this tree must be extremely tall, but you can't see with all the leaves and branches. Um, you greet the monkeys. Tree people, happy to see man friend. Happy, happy. Uh, Manu. Very happy you here, man friend. Quick, quick, come see village. Uh, top this village. You near center of village now. Come up, come up, you see. Monkeys. Tree people, very happy to see man friend. Man friend, good. Uh, jungle. Jungle, not safe for man friend. You need village to be and be safe. Come, see village. Okay, so, um, naturally different characters, different character classes would have different approaches here. The thief, I think, would just climb up. The warrior, I think, would climb up. I'm not sure. Uh, as a wizard, at any rate, we have more direct approaches. Subtler approaches, one might say. We can levitate. And this is the monkey village. You're sitting on a leaf-covered platform in the monkey village high in the treetops. Um, tell me about your monkeys. Monkeys happy all the time. Eat, sleep, groom fur for fleas. Many, many things to do in monkey village. Man friend be very happy here. It's actually a neat little village. Uh, tell me about the village. Monkey village very safe. No bad things here. Monkeys, monkey babies, and man friend here. All happy and safe. Oh, that's cute. Uh, bad things? Bad things, very bad. Eat little monkeys. Many bad things. Now man friend, keep all bad things away. Man, you very happy. Okay, I see. Um, tell me about yourself. Manu, very happy man friend here. Now Manu, have fun with man friend. Show man friend good time, like swing from branches and crash into tree. Good game. Your name's not George, is it? George of the jungle. Anyway, tell me about demons. You talk very bad things with big claws and bad breath. 
No very bad things here. Far, far away. Very bad things near big rock water that falls down. No very bad things here. So yes, as we've heard, the demons are beyond the waterfall. Big rock, <clears throat> big rock water that falls down long time from here. Monkeys know the way. Monkeys know secret monkey pass. Cross big rock water that falls down. Monkeys very smart. Uh, monkey pass? Monkey pass only way cross big rock water that falls down. Monkeys run from bad city. Monkeys run from bad man with long arms. Monkeys find monkey pass. Monkey Monkeys make monkey village. Now monkey is very happy. I'm glad for you. Tell me about this bad city though. Bad city, very bad. Long time, monkeys work in bad city. Monkeys pick food for bad city. Monkeys not get to eat food. Monkeys run away. Monkeys cross big rock water that falls down. Now monkeys very safe from bad city with very bad things. Shame, the poor, guy, poor monkeys. Uh, bad men? Bad mans with long arms live in bad city. Bad mans with long arms not happy. Very bad things make bad mans with long arms fight all the time. Monkeys happy, bad mans with long t arms unhappy. Bad mans with long arms very mean to monkeys. Oh, shame, I'm not happy for either party. Either, either the monkeys or the bad men with long arms. Um, so lost city. City not lost. City very far away. City have lions with man's body. City, city, <clears throat> city in small plants with no trees. You know, lose city. You find monkey village. Village now home for man friend. Okay, um, tell them about the lost city. You tell Manu you need to go to the bad city. No, no go. No go bad city. Bad city very bad for man friend. Many very bad things there. Eat man friend. Hmm. Well, let's convince him. You try to convince Manu to take you to the lost city. Bad place. Many very bad things. Manu not go bad city. Man friend not go bad place. Uh... Okay, and we're off again. Bad place, Lost City. Maybe we go back to Monkey Village? Maybe no? You see very bad place, then we go home? Oh, poor Manu. Monkeys not forget very bad place. You see, then we go home. Poor Manu. Sun not up. Manu go sleep now. Night night. Sun up. Manu up. Man friend go back to monkey village now? Manu very sad. Manu go to bad city with man friend. Monkeys not forget very bad place. You see, then we go home. Place of big water. Monkeys remember place to cross. Many bad things on other side. Go home now. Alright, it's been a little while since we had a proper puzzle and I think the next scene gives us one. Yep, here we go. Another very nice bit of artwork, a nice little animation in the background, a bit of pellet cycling, if I'm not much mistaken. <clears throat> Always a nice effect, pellet cycling. Other monkeys are cross. You cross. Uh, you're very big. You know jump good. How man friend cross big rock waters that fall down? Good question, Manny. Good question. Ooh, look, a lot's happened. Let's save. Let's put it in attempt. Okay, so let's see what we have to work with once we get the cursor back. So, a torrential waterfall rushes down the side of the mountain to the rocks far below. Okay, you see the place the monkeys call Big Rock Water that falls down. Uh, ah, the rocks look rather slick from the water spray, but it looks like a good path. The vines are too far away and too slender for you to play Tarzan with them. Uh, you see some sturdy vines, which I can collect, I think. You take one of the vines, although it doesn't really look strong enough to support your weight. You now have, an, you now have another vine that doesn't look quite strong enough to support your mass. You tie the two vines together. You now have a strong vine rope. Nice. 
Um, is there anything else we can work with here? Just levitating is not going to help in and of itself. Um, can I fetch those vines over there, I wonder? No, doesn't seem so. Okay. Hmm. You tie the vine to ourselves. Uh, I talk to you. Oh, okay. Tell about magic. You tell Manu that you will cross. Uh, sorry, that you will use magic to cross the chasm. Manu knows. Manu see man friend fly. Manu knows magic. Magic good. Magic Manu's friend. Oh, you know magic. Um. Bridge C. I don't think there's anything terribly useful here. No, okay. So tell about levitate. You tell Manu that you will levitate, but you need Manu's help to cross. If Manfriend can fly, why not fly across big rock water that falls down? You tell Manu that levitate only moves you up and down. Manu understand. Manu smart. Manfriend go up and down, down and up. How man friend get across big rock water that falls down when just go up and down? Um, can't use that on him. Okay, tell about vine rope. Come on. You show Manu the vine rope and tell him that you will use it to cross the waterfall. Man friend very big, vine very small. Manu think man friend break vine. You tie one end of the rope to yourself. You feel pressure on the rope as Manu tries to pull you across the chasm. Uh, ask for cooperation. You tell, you tell Manu, there we go, to pull the vine after you levitate. Hokey hokey, Manu pull vine, then man friend fly. You tell Manu not to pull until you are in the air. Manu not stupid, Manu smart. Manu right all the time. Man friend fly, then Manu pull rope. Okay, so slightly clunky puzzle implementation there, I feel, but it'll, it does. Job, there we go, and we're across. Thank you, Manu. Very bad place. No good. Manu not happy. Oh, I forgot about this bit. Might want to make a save here once we get uh, control back. we go. Because I think something dangerous is about to happen. Bad thing! Very bad thing! Run! I'm gonna try standing my ground. Hello? And we're up against a demon worm. But demon worms, as it turns out, are just like any other monster in this game, and that you can stun lock them. It really is a pity because the, the combat system in this game is actually pretty cool. It's just open to cheesing. And in all fairness, as a wizard, we're not really cut out for this sort of thing very well. So, stun locking them makes sense. Also, really cool art. Good, good. Manfred killed ugly, very bad thing. Manfred very brave. Manfred very strong. Manu very happy. Thank you, Manu. Long time. Men lived in Lost City. 
Now only bad things monkeys remember. We see bad things, we run away, yes? Go home. And here we are at last. Bad thing, bad thing, very bad thing. We go home now, not go lost city. And here we are in the lost city and that color doesn't look good to me. Bad city there, we go now. Back to good monkey village, safe. We go now? You shake your head, no. Bad place. Bad things. You not get in bad city. You not find secret door only monkey knows. Man you not tell secret. Man you not let bad things get man friend. We go now. Well, let's tell him about honor. You try to tell Manu about honor and why you have to go to the bad city. Man you know honor. Man you have much honor. Man you not happy. Honor get man friend dead. Uh, tell me about the secret door. Monkeys know where secret door hides. Look for man with jackal head. Put eye the closing head and door opens. Door. Look for man with jackal head. Need to put glowing eye in head. Then secret door open and man print going to bad city. Eye. Eye that glows fits right in head. Comes from head, fits in head. Monkeys get it into city all the time with eye that glows. Man print use eye that glows to open secret door. Hmm. Bad things? Bad things all around bad city. Bad things all in bad city. Very bad. Bad things eat man friend. Little Manu very sad. Aww. Manu? Manu not happy. Manu very sad. Oh yes, uh, oh no, no, I hadn't actually asked. Um, man friend go to bad city, be eaten. Manu not see man friend again. Manu cry. Uh, lost city. Many long time ago, monkeys live here. Monkeys remember. Monkeys know all about bad city. Monkeys know about secret door into city. Uh, Alright, well let's say goodbye. You say goodbye to Manu. Manu very sad. Not say goodbye. Not say bye bye to man friend. Manu not want man friend to go. Manu not go bad place. Bad things eat little Manu. Manu very sad. Manu want man friend come back to man monkey village. Manu not want to say bye bye to man friend. But. We're going anyway. That looks like a fellow with a jackal head. That looks like a bad man with long arms. A caveman, in other words. Oh, I love the colouring around here. It's a very sort of acidic feel. Very appropriately untoward. Now, I know which way I'm supposed to go here, but it occurs to me that I don't actually know what happens if I try to take some of these other routes. So, I'm going to try that quickly, having just saved. So, let's run across here. These stairs seem to lead into to the heart of the city. You hear the sounds of many ape men guards that way. Okay. There are broken rocks everywhere. The sand remains of what must, once be, must have once been a magnificent city. It's not letting me go that way. It's not letting me go that way. Yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit... We can't even go there. We're getting a little bit railroaded. All right, fine. We'll go where we're supposed to go. Ah, there we go. We've put the eye in the head. Done. You see a relief carving, carving of the Egyptian god Anubis. It seems to be missing a stone from its eye. And as it happens, earlier, much, much, much earlier in the game, we got this fire opal. This the round, smooth stone seems to glow in your hand. Uh, that fire opal... Um, is uh, the, the th one of the things that we got from the meerbats, I think they were called, the winged meerkat creatures, when we helped them with the venomous vine. And that is going to come in handy now. By the way, I've just learned, having done a bit of reading, um, that uh, this water from the pool of peace that we've been hanging on to can actually restore stamina, which is quite neat. Um, I was not aware of that offhand. Uh, let me just clear a notification that I had. Anyway, so yes, so uh, that goes in there like that, nice, and in we go. Secret door magically opens. This gets real boring. You know that, Frack? Frack seems to nod his head. All we ever do is guard the door. Big deal. Nobody can get to this door for us to beat up. Boring. Frack nods again. All the other guys gets to beat up the apes but us. We gotta guard the door. 
we never get no fun. It's bad. <clears throat> Frax head nods in agreement. All I want is something to beat up a bit and bite the head off. Is that too much to ask for, I ask you? Frack keeps nodding. He must be the strong, silent type. Then again, he might just be the very stupid type. Frick is one ugly demon. He seems to be somewhat more intelligent than a kumquat, which is more than you can say for his companion Frack, here spelt with a C for some reason. This is the demon Frack, again with a C. Judging from the eloquence of his conversation, you guess that he is even stupider than Frick. Now we can get into a fight with these two, but we're not going to. We don't need to engage with them. Just calm guys, calm, chill. The demons yawn and look stupid. So let's go have a look at this door here. The door is locked. Oh well, we have our universal key. We can get into a fight with him, uh, which I think I've just said. Your spell does the trick, you hear a click. Nice rhyme, this time. Boring, boring, boring. This job is the pits. The prisoner never tries to escape since the last time I beat it up, and nobody gets past the guards below to get to us. I tell ya, it's boring. Frack nods sadly in agreement. In case you miss it, they're demons. Aha! You, you're not a demon. Who are you? How did you get in here? You tell the lion to what you are doing here. My name is Rishaka Darkresha. I am a warrior of Tana. You must be a powerful warrior yourself to have made it here. Well, wizard, actually. And yes, this is Rishaka. This is the son of Krisha and Rashi Rakish. The demons enter this world through a gate at the top of this tower. If we can destroy the world gate, we can defeat the demons. Oh dear. Greetings, human. My master sends his regrets, but he's too busy to speak with you right now. I have taken over the body of this creature. All harm done to me will harm her, and she's the daughter of my master's enemy, Rakish. Now I will destroy you, and you shall destroy her. I shall win both ways. Um, well, I have a thought. What if I throw a dispel potion all over you? That works. And off goes the demon. And in comes more magic, but of a more pleasant sort. One of Kreisha's gates, by the looks of it. Here's Uhura to start with, with her little uh, lake motif. And with her bit of music, Jahari. And with the familiar music from Awari, Yasufu. <laughs> and with that slightly uh, roguishly dangerous music, the thief Harami. And with something a little more... Um, well, anyway. Rishaka! Here comes Rakish. By the power within and without, may you be healed. Krisha opened a portal as soon as she could locate my friend here. We came as soon as we could. Your friends, young Prince of Shapir, did not want you to face the danger alone. Hey, don't look at me. I'm no hero. I just came because I didn't want to stay in Tana. I ain't fighting no demons. The prophecy I had from the Temple of Sekhmet said that five from very different lives will stand beside each other to face the darkness. Rishaka, will you fight at the side of the Prince of Shapir? Of course, Rakish, my father. I am sorry, my friend, for if our army does not stand by your side, I fear that the prophecy cannot be fulfilled. No way! No way I face a demon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I guess, my friend, you will need to face the demons with only four different friends. Uhura and I must stay here to stand off the demons that are trying to follow you. Oh, sorry, I need a drink. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. I'm not need, but my throat was getting irritated again. At least Manu's voice is a little easier. Manu here! Manu come! Help man friend! Not let bad things get man friend! The prophecy is fulfilled, for four different friends now follow where the hero leads. A monkey? That's supposed to fight demons? Give me a break. <clears throat> Don't know where his voice went. 
How is a monkey supposed to help? Man who very brave. Man who fight bad things. Man who help man friend. Harami. Never reject the offer of friendship and help. Man who has great courage and loyalty. And with that he will aid our friend well. The way you must all go lies through that blocked door. I sense powerful demonic magic behind there, so be careful. By the power within and without, that door shall open. So it did. Go quickly. The demons are trying to get in here. Uhura and I will fight them off. Quaheri, my friend. Quaherini, all of you. Good luck. Hurry. You find yourself drawn to the mirror at the opposite end of the room. Five mirrors for five of us. Odd looking mirrors, they're not reflecting anything just yet. But they are now. Here are our reflections. Mm, but they are now changing in these demon mirrors into something twisted and horrible. And everyone fights their own reflection. Their own opposite. That is a nice action shot, by the by. Note that his health isn't actually going down particularly much. Ah, and in comes her army to backstab him. I'll fight this monster. You gotta run. These things can't really be, be really defeated until you take out the demon wizard. So make like a hero and save the day. Now take these pills I borrowed and scram. Sorry, Harami's voice really went south there. As you run up the weird spiral staircase, you take the healing and mana pills Harami handed you. Oh good, I was a little worried about my mana. <laughs> yes, everyone fighting their reflections here. Fights that logically aren't likely to uh, be successful because those reflections are, well, reflections of them. Our plan worked, Lord. Ooh, that voice. Even now, our enemy Rakish is in, disgrace, is in disgrace, and the Lion Tour warriors march out from Tana. The Simbani idiots and the Leopard Men fools will all avenge their murdered leaders, and they will all blame Rakish and each other, not dreaming it is our doing. I love that portrait. That is really nicely done, especially with the fire in his eyes. My armies of demons and ape men stand ready and waiting to attack the warring lion tours, Simbani and Leopardmen, when they are at their weakest. With the magic released from the deaths of so many beings, I can open the gate once more and allow you to enter this world, my lord. Hurry! I grow impatient to again taste the power of killing things. The orb is still weak from the amount of energy it took to possess the Lebanon chief before the peace conference. It took great skill to kill the Simbani Libon without anyone realizing the Lebanon chief was possessed. Fool! Restore the orb's power immediately. Yes, my lord, I will start the ritual right away. And we're going to save here. And this, by the way, is the end of the end game. This is, uh... by the way, look at that. Look at that rather distressing view. You are high atop a tower overlooking the ruined city. The floor is split by a seemingly bottomless chasm. Before you shimmer shimmers an obviously magical gateway. Um, okay, so uh, what are we going to do? Um, hum, hum, hum. We don't want to do that. Um, we don't want to cast magic at the orb because Kreisha warned us against that. Um, we can try hitting its stand. Your spell has no effect on the orb. The demon wizard's magic must be shielding it right now. All right. Well, let's go for the wizard himself then. Behind you, idiot! Is that interfering human? So, you've escaped my, from my trap. Perhaps destroying you will be more interesting than I thought. Oops. Um, maybe we want a reversal spell. Boing. Oh, and you took a hit. Floor of flame, inflame this fool. 
eat flaming death, fool. Pillar of stone, heed my command. Gargoyle, come forth. Destroy that man. I think we acted slightly too fast for the last one there. Um, trigger? Haha. <laughs> so you've defeated my minion. Enough of this foolishness. Now I shall summon my lord. He shall deal with you personally. He'll enjoy that. Okay, well, we want to get across, I think. No? Uh, what about hitting you now? Ha! Pitiful human, your puny effort cannot harm a true master of magic such as I. Okay, well, let's... let's and I say this knowing where this is going, if I'm not much mistaken, uh, if I have this right. Uh, let's um, do something to enhance our magic. Summon our staff. You think that worthless piece of wood can harm me? Um, hmm, not quite sure I'm doing the right thing here. Oh, that did harm. Good. Ah! Ooh, my throat. Now you've truly earned my wrath. What is he going to do? I like that portal effect, by the way. Looks like a bit of a Mandelbrot effect, and uh, is it stuck? Hello? Demon wizard? I think we're stuck in limbo. Hold on, I'm going to have something to drink while the game thinks. Oh, that's a little better. Um, okay, I think we broke it. So let's start, let's come back. We're starting from the beginning. Um, I'm going to sum try summoning my staff this time first. Okay, so he's taunted us. Uh, let's try knocking him in the back. Now we've truly earned his wrath. Oh, there we go. Much more like it. He sent a fetch spell out to take our staff. Ha! Now I have your staff. You're defenseless against me. I note with interest... Hold on, we short-circuited all his normal traps. I'm going to come back. I don't know whether there's point in... Uh, whether there are points available in... Um, the stuff that we did before. So let's just try going the, the route we did uh, the first time around. So he does that. We cast a reversal. Which zaps him into... Let's not be quite so quick off the mark this time. And let's cast a calm spell. Okay, so he's just there's no real, there's no, there isn't a good animation there, unfortunately. Anyway, let's use Trigger to uh, do that, much as we did in Quest for Glory 2. Okay, so now he's lost interest in us. Um, I wonder whether we want to try to... No, I think let's just summon our staff. Okay, and... Let's uh, zap him. Nice empowered lightning bolt, or lightning ball rather. Here we go, he steals our staff from us. Now, before we go on, when we first got our staff from Kreisha, um, she gave us some instructions about it. I think she told us about how it would enhance our magic, she told us... Um, that it would yeah, enhance any spell cast through it, basically, I think was the idea. But she gave us a warning. She told us that with all our magic, all our, our spells stored within it, it was a very bad idea to cast the trigger spell on it, which would release all of that pent-up magic at once. A very bad idea, unless someone else is holding your stuff and you want to blow them up. So trigger, oh dear, he says. And he blows up and out comes his head. Which we give the thump, a, a punt into the, the, the chasm. Right, so now we want to try to knock this pillar, I think. There we go, knock the ball into the portal. Knock the orb into the portal and that closed the portal. You run for the stairs to return to your friends. And that's pretty much that.
Man friend, man friend, happy, happy you come back. Man friend, come back. Welcome back, my friend. Habari, hero. You made it, huh? The demons were drawn back into their own world when you closed off the world gate. This land and all its people are safe thanks to you. Thank you. Mzuri, friend. I not be knowing how much longer Rikish and I hold off the demons. A good fight. Much better win over. You are a good man to be side fighting at my side, friend. Now my people and the cow people will have peace because of you, hero. I'll name you Sufu's son for you. What? You said you wanted to marry me? I accept. It is an honor to meet and serve you, friend. Man friend, very brave. You did good, kid. Oh dear. So I like that uh, Jahari's interested in Yasufu. This is dark magic. Thorm. Dun 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 dun. To be continued in. Quest for Glory 4. Shadows of Darkness. These two mysterious and sinister looking figures. Oh! Someone just gave me a... A big fright. Ah. Someone just walked in and gave me a big fright. Ah. Excuse me, please. Ah. I'm sorry if that uh, hurt anyone's eardrums or startled anyone, but uh, yes, you were no less startled than I, I suspect. Ah. Anyway, and we've completed the game. Um, we have 478 puzzle points, which means I think that we did miss some. Um, health of 115 of 149, stamina 115 of 120, mana 233 of 234. Uh, intelligence was up to 223, Vitality 181, Luck 86, Magic 240, Communication 228, and Honor 208. Congratulations, you have successfully completed Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War, with a final score of 478 out of a possible 500 points. If you have not already done so, we encourage you to play Quest for Glory 3 again with the other t character types. Many of the puzzles are different to have alternate solutions, and indeed this is very true. And if you do find this game interesting, I do encourage you to seek it out and play it, because it is quite it does have its differences with the other character types, the other classes. In the meantime, you are already a winner. Please insert a writable disc in your floppy drive to save your winning hero for use in Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. Um, okay, and um Whoops. Um Call it something like Stream Char 3. No, it doesn't like that. Okay, um. No, okay, let's try again. I'm not quite sure what's actually available through DOSBox here. Mm. Oh, there we go. It looks like that may have worked. This, the, <clears throat> the save character file has been created. Save this disc for use, to, use with Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness from Sierra Online. Thank you for playing Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War, and congratulations again on winning. We'll see you again soon in Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. And here are the credits. Lorian Cole. And Corey Cole is the two uh, the two leads behind it, I believe. And the creators of Quest for Glory. At any rate, um, yes. So I don't think there's anything else. It's just credits from here. Um, so I will end the stream here then, um, having you know just had my heart attack. Um, no, um, yes, so this has been a thoroughly enjoyable trip through one of my favorite games. I hope you've enjoyed it because I very much have. Uh, coming up, next of course in the series is Quest for Glory 4, but I'm thinking of taking a break from Quest for Glory to play something else 
um, coming up. We are in October, so I'm thinking maybe I'll try to find something horror-ish. Um, we have three weeks, three Saturdays remaining in October, looking at the calendar here. So I may not go into something horror-ish immediately, we'll see. Um, I would have to find something to start with. Um, look through my games, see what seems like it might work, all of that sort of thing. Um, but yes, I'm, so I'm thinking, as I said, to taking a bit of a break. Now, there is a caveat there. Quest for Glory 4 is actually pretty horror-ish. It's actually pretty appropriate to October, so it's tempting to go there. But on the other hand, we're not going to be finishing it in one month either, I don't think. And I could use a little bit of a break from Quest for Glory, so I'm still thinking in that direction. We'll see. We'll see. At any rate, whatever I, I do, um, do play next, I hope you join me. And yes, let me say goodbye. So, again, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. I very much did. Stay well and goodbye.